Hey guys, it's Katrina from HowToStartAMomBlog.com and also ThinkingOutsideTheSandbox.ca. I wanted to talk to you today about how to use the EasyAzon plugin for WordPress. So basically what EasyAzon is, it's a plugin that allows you to connect to different Amazon accounts. And so if someone clicks on one of your links, then they'll go to their country. So you can get EasyAzon, they'll put the link down below. You can see the pricing right now for a multi-use site. It's about 47 bucks. Um, if you flip and sell sites, you want to use um, this developer one for $67. I think it's well worth the money for what it does. So basically what we do here, um, I'm going to show you how to use it. So I have this post right now, Raspberry Lemonade Macaroons on totsfamily.com. And it's right now it's one of our most popular sites and as you can see it's not monetized at all like there's no outgoing links there's nothing connecting it to each other that sort of thing uh, there's one mid post ad that we have everywhere but that's kind of like hit and miss with um, what we're gonna be doing right so we just don't um, know like know how many people are gonna see it or if anyone's gonna click on the site so we want to up this a little bit so if I go into the editor and then we have our same site here. We've already done it. So then I'm going to look right away for ways that I can monetize. So for example, this Lorraine's Oils Raspberry Flavor, that's what our writer used to make this. So let's just highlight this, click on our Easy Azon because I've already downloaded this plugin. Um, set it up, set up is super easy and it's going to search. Oh, and look it right there. So I can just link right to what we had. So you can see here as a short code and then that will basically, this is my tag, my tag for Amazon. Um, if you, we were to go to here into our settings, I'll do that for you real quick. Open up a new tab. Then you'll be able to see that I've linked to all of our different Amazon. So I've got a few things going on, on my computer right now. So she wrote found a bark a bulk bar and I'm gonna add or Amazon. Oh. And then people will know to click the link. My computer's being slow right now. So then here line your baking sheets with parchment paper or silicone baking sheet set aside. So that's another opportunity for us to monetize, right? So when we're doing that, you can do a, a couple of different ways. So what I like to do is I like to add in a table, insert my table. This is just part of the WP edit plugin. You can see it's right there. Let's go back to easy Azon. And we're looking for parchment paper. No, it's just like if you were searching in Amazon, right? So then I can see I've got some options here. So if I wanted to go and I wanted to add this image in here, I know 160 if I'm doing three across works best for me. I want to center it and I want to insert it. Oh, and then my table disappeared, which is, happens sometimes. I'm not sure why it does that. I don't know if it's a theme thing for me or what. And then we'll just paste it right in there. Cause this again, it's just a short code, right? But then instead of just leaving it like that, I'm gonna go back to easy on here, find the same one that I just grabbed. And then this one, the CTA link, this is a call to action link. So then you can choose what kind of button you want. I wanna center it and I go insert. Not my computer who was just doing something. Uh, <laughs> finally finished. So let's go and we'll add another one. So let's see here, image link. Now you can see also if you scroll down, there's different images that you can kind of choose from. So you can pick which ones work best for you. So pick ones that you think are gonna be the most appealing that people are gonna click on to wanna buy, right? Cause that's the whole point here is that you want people to buy one of these items because we're adding a lot of value to our blogs and like I don't pay I don't charge anyone to come to my blog and see what I've got going on right so everything that I have is for them for free 
Yes, I do monetize in different ways. So that mid post ad, for example, or sometimes I'll have sponsored posts and that sort of thing, which, you know, you need to disclose and everything like that. But on a day to day, regular basis, like we're not charging people for seeing to see anything, right? So I'm going to do one last thing just to show you kind of different ways to do things. I'm going to just, I've just got a cheat here. This code that I'm inserting, I'll put it um, down below as well. It makes a yellow background. You can see here. So if we scroll down, so I, I just put in like placeholder text, text here. Um, Sorry, I could not type and think about what I wanted to do <laughs> and do those at the same time. So you can see here, I just like, I'm going to put in more photos. Let's see here. Placeholder tech. This is just kind of like how I um, kind of cheat, right? So I kind of get things to go back and forth to do what I want um, because I don't always know how to manipulate things um, the best. So if we go here now, same sort of thing as before. We learned last time that we needed to put in some code. So let's go to um, cookie plate, see what shows up, right? Oh, so like here, like a three tier, like this is perfect dessert stand. Dessert stand probably would have been a better keyword, which we'll talk about keywords in um, another kind of video like this. I just wanted to show you how to use this plugin so at least you can kind of get started. I'm going to take away that little placeholder text that I put there. And the thing with this is that you can kind of do whatever you want, right? Amazon's got so many things, which is why it's one of my favorite uh, affiliates because like anything you can think of, Amazon probably sells it, right? And people trust Amazon. It's not like you're trying to get them to shop from like Uncle Sal's backyard bakery, right? And buy these things. Like it is a reputable brand that they've probably purchased from before. Um, so they already have an account set up. And once you send people to Amazon, it's really Amazon's job to sell them on the item. It's not our job to sell them on the item, right? If that makes sense to you. So now one last thing I'm going to show you, there's a few add-ons for Easy Azon. One of my favorite add-ons is the best seller list. So for example, here, um, it says place into a piping bag with a plain round tip. So I'm going to go tip to find the best piping bag. I like to be really obnoxious in my, in the way that I add these affiliates. Not everyone feels the same way as I do, but I want people to know, like if you click purchase, I tell our readers all the time, if you buy something from us, we'll receive a small kickback, you know, four to 8%, depending on how much we sell that month, right? So I'm gonna go piping bag, I'm gonna search. So you can see all these results, but then because I've got the add-on, the bestseller add-on, I can insert a list of these bestseller options. So then it goes best sell seller piping bag. That's not what I want to say. I want to say best selling Oop. piping bags. I like to um, capitalize a first letter when I'm doing these things. People pay more attention to it. They're going to be more um, likely to click. And then from here, you can find out which category you want it to go. I will say this is this feature can be a little temperamental depending on what you're trying to link to. But here, icing and decorations. I don't want icing decorations. I want to make sure that I go icing dispensers and tips because that's what kind of results I want them to come from, right? So I'm going to choose just five of them. You can see the short code um, again. So I'm going to update. Here I'm going to show you my easy on settings. So you just, there's 
um, video tutorials and free Amazon course. And if I go here to Amazon Associates, you can see there's my tracking idea ID for my US Amazon account. Here's my tracking ID for Canada and France and Germany. So if I have any visitors coming from these countries and they click on one of my Amazon links, it'll take them to the Amazon of their country and the cookies will follow them. If you just go to Amazon and copy and paste links like you're probably doing now, if for me, for example, because I'm in Canada, I don't, I don't, you don't get anything from me purchasing. The cookies don't transfer over from one country to the next. That's why you need to use a plugin like this one in order to have that work. I'm not the biggest advocate of having a ton of plugins. I don't think that is um, really a benefit, right? It can slow down your site and that sort of thing. But when it comes to making money, um, you need to kind of um, weigh your pros and cons, right? So let's see what these things look like. So you can see here that if you click here, you can see it goes to uh, Amazon. This is Amazon.ca it goes to because that's where I'm at. So then it links to it here. It's not the exact um, listing. If I was in the States, it would have brought me to that exact listing, but because I'm in Canada, but then here's my cookie. Um, so then I can just go here and I can go add to cart and I can purchase it from there. Easy peasy. Here we can see here's our call to action links that we put on. So that you can see like with this parchment paper, silicone baking sheet and people can click on them. Uh, this is just that easy, simple table that we made, right? Let's go down here. Best selling piping bags. See now I don't like the way this looks. So what I would do is I would go back. Oh, I'm just going to show you the bottom first before we go back. So here it goes. Here's the lovely pie plates. Um, just like again, super simple. So I'm going to go back to my edit the post and I'm going to take out that title because I didn't, I don't like the way that looks, but I can do that. It's a very simple edit for me to do. So if I go down here, I can see here, here's my short code title, best selling piping bags. We're just going to take that out completely. Actually, you know what? Let's take it all out because I don't want anything to do with the title, but I still have my tag. I still have my numbers, how many best selling items and everything else. So everything else is going to work fine. We're going to re-update that post. This is going to save our changes, right? And then we're going to go back into the post and we're going to see it live and see what those changes look like. So we're going to come down here. Do, 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 do. And there are the ad is out, uh, the titles out and that looks so much better, right? So then you can write tips for whatever you want. I've done one with salads before and I've had salad bowls like or travel salad bowls because of potlucks. You know, this is not just for cooking. It's for absolutely anything um, that you're doing. But then that's an easy way to add in some monetization options on a non-sponsored, non-monetized post. All right. Thanks, guys. And I will be talking to you soon.